Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty GF, and we're here with episode 5 of Batman Arkham Knight. In the previous episode, or, well, in the previous two episodes, we've been working through the challenge mode by completing two maps with all eight of our characters and also all six of the Batmobiles. But in the episode prior to that, back in episode 2, we brought Poison Ivy into the GCPD, did a little bit of a look around, picked up the remote electric charge, came out and completed our first Riddler room. Well, it was basically a Riddler race course, really, where we took the Batmobile around and beat his time. Uh, you can see that we are currently wearing a different skin with the Batman and also for the Batmobile. This is, well, you would have seen these back in... Um, Episode 3, if you watch that one when we're doing challenges, I am going to try and show off all of the skins um, for both Batman and the Batmobile. So, yeah, anyway, back to what we were doing. So, uh, last time. Per your request, I've created a series of diagnostic simulations to test the various functions of the suit and Batmobile. Simply select the appropriate program, and the Bat computer will provide a navigational marker. Okay. Um, sure, I didn't know you could do this from the actual in-game, but uh, yeah, so we are going to carry on, so I think the closest one is actually the main mission, the City of Fear, so uh, we'll go with that one. Oh, actually, before I forgot, um... We've got a hell of a lot of win tech points from those um, challenges we did, so let's think of putting them into a good position. So I want to put some things into gadgets. So let's um, sort batarangs. That's probably going to be useful. Um, C. Get uh, dual batarangs. Which we'll get. Triple batterings, why not? Uh, leave that there. Let's see, gadget tech. Um, Spot pellet duration, that's probably helpful. And a bigger area should help in predators. Um, Batmobile could do with increasing the speed on that if that's an option. It's an armor. Should have been a recharge. Yeah, something like that. Um, ramp charge, yeah, it could be useful. We'll leave that for now though. Uh, weapons. Seems to be doing okay with weapons so far, so I'm going to leave that for now. Combat is probably going to be quite useful. Um, hmm. That was good. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get the um, Focus Mag 2. We've got two more. Um, sure, grab that as well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. No, you don't need to do that. But yeah, so, obviously as we are doing Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a Riddler informant. Hello. Riddler, tell me what you know. All right, I'll talk. Just don't hurt me. Good. <laughs> cool. We'll get to that in um, time. Start doing the um, Riddler trophies and that. But yeah, as I was saying now, because obviously we are doing these two episodes, regular two episodes. Uh, two episodes story. Then you're going to see that basically every time we enter the main story, we're going to have a ton of upgrade points. And it's just the way it is. Um. Oh, okay. 
A classic secret button in the aura. Scanner in the ornaments. Not quite the back cave, but you know, it's just it's something. And the nerve toxin of fear gas. Do I come in the back cave? Start messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It'll show where Scarecrow is creating his fear toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. <sighs> okay. Right. Let's use the Panessa Studios antenna to pinpoint Scarecrow. Jim, we've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. As soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. Okay. Referee so directly to vertical diet to guide large distances at high speed. Ooh. Down there. There'll be no writing. Another informant down there. Get to him in a second. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Riddler. Talk. Sure. Whatever you say. We're done. Thank you. Come on, Batmobile. Let's go. Put me on the way over there, the Batmobile. Wait, did you say the Batmobile or did you say Batwing? Oh. 
Hello, dear. Don't give me a present. Cool. Pulls down obstacles and moves heavy obstructions, delivers high powered AC electrical energy supply. Cool. Alright, bye bye now. Don't you worry. Okay. Come on down. Don't mind the archi architectural damage. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jump. Woo. Okay. Oh my days, just ripping this city apart. Oh, let's move backwards. Whoa. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Whoop. Make some room, please. Excuse me. That will be all coming through. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is this... Those dragon cells at the side of a bit... Ah, oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. And there we go. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We got power. Okay, I'll leave you to that deal. I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great, I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. You can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah, but we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. Okay. Um... Is that it? Use the internet at the far corner shipping yard to locate Scarecrow. Um, there's a destructible up there. Don't know if that's going to help. The Batmobile's powering the antenna. I can't use it right now. Okay, well, guess we're doing this on foot then. No problem. I don't think so, Scarecrow. I do not think so. Oh, 
recording some antenna? You must Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. That happens. That's hmm. where operation falls apart. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage and need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Jump man gun. Sea patrolling. Cool. Get that one. Plenty of predators. Shouldn't be no problem. Three more soldiers inside. They think they're safe if they stick together. What are you planning? Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> he knows us. He knows us. Bring it. That's just showing off. <laughs> Gear up. God damn. Sexy suit. You taking nobody's shit. <laughs> well, Mr. Wayne, let me walk you through it. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium dip tri weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. <laughs> Speaking of which, the new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. Interesting. Alright. Good match with the skies with the grapnel boost mark to test your aerial supremacy to the fullest as you can grapple, glide and dive across the Gotham skyline. Alright. Woo! Let's go! Just like old times. Okay. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's like those old uh, challenges in Arkham City. I wonder if they have the challenges in this game. Well, actually, not technically. Arkham Origins had the challenges as well, but. I don't know, maybe. Be cool if they did. As long as there weren't any that were uh, 
possibly missable, like the um, the predator-related ones in Arkham Origins. That was annoying. All right, this should be easy. Two, one, complete. Yay. Okay, cool. That's an upgrade point we can get later. What have we got here? Summon, eject, and glide. Climb the counter shoot for the sky. Learn how to work in unison with Wayne Tech's most powerful weapon. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Cut. Cut that up. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, yep. Hey! Wow. There is some power behind that. Okay, come on, don't slow down. Hey, sweet. All right, what else we got? So we've done that one. Throw counter. Set enemies flying and leave them begging for mercy. Use the new Batsuit's increased defense capabilities to unleash five successful throw counters to complete the training. So you gotta wait. I see. Okay. Ah, so it's complete, 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 incomplete, incomplete. Okay. Fear multi takedown. Master fear moving close without being detected and chain your takedowns to quickly subdue groups of enemies groups of armed enemies. There are four configurations to complete. I think I've already done some of these in the in the Predator maps. Uh, the Endless Night one. Simulation activated. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Being close to three hours I'd be detected. How are you supposed to do that? Unless do you want me to use a smoke bomb? Nope, apparently not. Hmm. This is going to be very fun, isn't it? Ah, okay. Okay. Hmm. 
See someone should be able to get in through the roof. And one last one. Wait, what? Why? I don't get it. Ooh. Nice. Let's just leave this one over here. Predator fundamentals. So strike from the shadows and leave no man standing. Count three armed enemies whose positions are randomized each time the training program is run. This is just basic predator. Then, okay. Well, I've got three games worth of experience with this. Easy peasy. And that's the lot. Three gunmen, one hostage. Time to put this suit to the test. What the hell is that? You just call it backup? What's happening? Shut up! The new suit is faster and more mobile. <laughs> So you do it. Uh oh. Hello. Man, they said you were quick, but I never saw anyone take down three armed guys like that. Unbelievable. You're safe now. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. Hey, tell me you're gonna find Scarecrow. That son of a bitch needs to be stopped. Don't worry about it. I'm on it like a car bonnet. I've attached the uplink to the microwave tower. Perfect. I made an anonymous call to GCPD. They're gonna send someone to pick up the hostage. Come on, come on, connect. Love the suit, by the way. Okay, both towers are fully online. Time to find Scarecrow. Cool. Both antennas to identify the micro and radio wave frequencies across Gotham. If I can find both frequencies at the same location, I'll know where Scarecrow is manufacturing his toxin. Okay. Hmm. Microwave frequencies point to ACE chemicals. That's where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. Jim, I've traced the fear toxin to ACE chemicals. That's where we'll find Scarecrow. Impossible. I've had a team there ever since the evacuation started, just like you asked. Crane must have bought them off. Or worse. I'm in the area. I'll round up my guys and head over. Hold off until I get there, Jim. I'm on my way. Okay, and we may work on that next time, although we may also start working on some of these side missions, I think. Uh, let's just have a look. Uh, we definitely have some bits here, so we've got Robin, some Drake. Okay, we've got some Wayne Tech upgrade points. Um, we didn't really touch the bounce suit, did we? So we should probably put some into there, so... Uh, Shockwave attack is pretty good. Ballistic armor, grapple takedown. That's also pretty sexy. Um, well, we'll get these like that, I think. Yeah, cool. Um, right, so that's that done. Actually, I, I don't think 
we're going to have anything new. Oh, we do actually have something new with the showcase. Um, oh, so it's just the Batsuit version 8.3. 8.03. Okay. And that's the one we were using before, I think, the new 52 Batman. Yeah. Cool. All right, no, no biggie. Uh, so, yeah, that is where we're going to end it for today. Next time, like I said, we're probably going to do some side missions, just whatever's closest to Batman, I think. We may start looking at that Riddler stuff that we picked up today as well. Who knows? We'll see when we get there. But before I wrap up, let me thank my amazing patrons, my five Pampas patrons, Avron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampas patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see credits to my one Pampas patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It's truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to of the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join this patron, you can find a link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that, because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode four. Bye, guys. Everything